Hello. Today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and its powerful thumbnail features. Many image programs will put thumbnails on the screen for you, but they're nothing more than miniaturized copies of the images on your computer. QImage Ultimate does much, much more with its thumbnails. It's very, very powerful. Well, let's get started with some of the features. Well, first of all, if you look at the file names, you'll see that this one is black, and this one's blue, and this one's red, and they give us some insight into what we're doing here. If you have a thumbnail with a black file name, it's telling you that this image is right out of the camera, nothing's been done to it. If the image has a red file name, it's telling you that this image has been placed in the image editor. Let's have a look. And we can see what was done. This image has been cropped, and the moment we click Done, the file name turns red, indicating something was done in the image editor. If the file name is blue, this tells you that this image was put into the refine screen for raw images in QImage, and something was tweaked or adjusted or tempered in some way. So we have those three colors, plus if something was done in both screens, the colors mix and we end up with kind of a lavender color, telling us that not only was it tweaked in the refine screen for raw, but it was also tweaked in the edit screen for all images. If I were to take this image here and give it one click, I've selected it. If I give it two clicks, I put it into the image editor screen. Here I can crop it or do whatever I like to it really quickly, no problem whatsoever. And the moment I click done, this guy is going to turn color. Now it's a red. Now watch, if I right click and I say remove the filter, a screen comes up and allows me to remove individual filters or the entire filter. Okay, well, the only thing we did to this was crop, so I can say remove the entire filter. Are you sure? Yes. And we've just removed the crop. So you see how powerful we are here. We don't have to go inside the program. We can do a whole lot of things just from the thumbnails. Okay, <clears throat> now let's look at the right-click menu. The right-click menu gives us many, many things we can do here. So we'll start from the top and we'll say select all. Okay, we've selected all. Now what we're going to do? Well, we select all. We can deselect all, obviously. We can select again and say add to the queue, which means the picture jumps to the right and it's ready to print. That's pretty easy to do. Let's have some more looks here. And we can say preview and add to the queue. This is a powerful feature. If I click preview and add to the queue, this image comes up in a pretty decent size, allowing me to really inspect it pretty well and decide if I want to add it to the queue or skip over it. Okay, well, let's see what else we can do here. Supposing we combine these two. Supposing I say select all and then I say preview and add to the queue. I've got all the images in my queue, in my thumbnails lined up for me to decide if I want to put them in the queue or not. Okay, well I like this. I'm going to say add. Okay, next. And I like this. Nah, I don't like this. I'm just going to say next. And I'm looking at that and I don't like that at all. And I'm looking at this. Okay, that's pretty nice. I'll add it. And I say next. And we like this one. We're going to say add. And we'll say next. And next. And you can see that I can go through my entire folder deciding which ones have possibilities and which ones I'm not interested in printing. Okay. Okay, now we're going to remove these from the queue just to clean up our screen a little bit. And you can see that. I've rated some of these. these. These are interesting because when you're in that screen and you can preview, you can also rate these and you can give them a three bar, a four bar, anything you want and it will be retained and later on I'll show you how you can use those things. 
Okay, let's look at that menu again, and you can see that it's in sections. And right now I'm going to jump to the bottom where we have hover operations. This is kind of interesting too. What this means is that I can hover over an image like this and hit the space bar and I get a high resolution full screen image. I can really look it over carefully. Okay, now supposing I was selecting images to print and I selected three and I wanted to look at this one I can hover it, hit the space bar, look it over carefully, but I didn't lose the ones I've already selected. Now that's that's a pretty powerful feature. Hovering is a great feature. Let's continue with the hovering. Supposing I said display image info. I get this box which is giving me pretty much all the EXIF information which camera, what day, the date, the resolution, all this stuff. But what's powerful about it is as I move my pointer from image to image, it's giving me the information for the image that I'm hovering over. It's not stuck with one picture. So you can see it's changing as I move it back and forth. That's one three hundred twentieth of a second, that one's a thousandth of a second, and that's a pretty powerful feature also. Okay, looking at our right-click menu again, let's have a look at one of these. It makes no difference. I'm going to right-click and show you something else. We're going to look at Image Examiner. Okay, this is a full-screen enlarged image, high resolution. You can mouse it around, move it, have a good look at it. But watch this now. I'm using the middle thumb wheel of my mouse and I can enlarge it or shrink it and as I do this I can move it around and I can get it so large as to really see my pixels. Where do you see this? How do you like that? You can do anything you want in this screen and it's all done through the thumbnails. Okay, you remember we touched on rating your images before and I'll just show you how powerful this can really be. If I took an image and I right clicked on it, I can rate it at any time. So here's my rating chart and we'll give this one a 4 like that. But okay, I've got rating rated pictures here. So what? Well, if we go to edit and we go to preferences and we go to sort the thumbnails, you'll see that we have a pre-sort by rating. So if I click that, now I've got my thumbnail sorted by how many green bars I gave it, and that's my judgment as to which are the best, next best, third best, fourth best, and fifth best, like that. So that's another very, very powerful feature in QImage Ultimate's thumbs. I think that should conclude t today's first part lesson on the power of thumbs. And we'll see you next time.